think I was like 15 or 16 years old. My dad walks in. He walks up to me. He goes, hey. Keep your dick in your pants. <laughs> really? Like that? That's your... And then he looks at me, and I'm looking at him with this look like... <laughs> I'm pretty sure like my face went pale. And I got my butthole pucker. I was like... I was like That was my breakfast of the week. I had nobody to tell me anything about sex. Everything I learned was from that, that rock with the banana and the condom. You know what I'm talking about? She's like, and that's a new thing. And that was my sex ed talk in my seventh grade. And that was, that was it. So, <laughs> sex is a big deal. And it's something that everybody should know about. I'm not saying you should go out and experience it. There's a big difference between what I'm saying here. Okay, get me, get me straight. It should be something that you do to express your love with your partner. I think if I if I could do things over and I could like could have held out and waited until I met my wife and had sex, I would be much happier with myself today. It's not how it happened. I am who I am. It's under the bridge, but whatever. But sex, you guys, seriously, shouldn't be one of those things where you go to a party, you meet some girl, or you meet some guy, and you're like, oh, he's cute, how's it going? You know? <laughs> like, it shouldn't be that way. And our society today thinks that that's cool. You know, like, I know guys personally who I went to college with that are like, um, Last week I slept with her, this last week I slept with her, and this week I slept with And they're like, oh, I'm up to like, mm, like 33. <laughs> and you know, guys are full of crap. They took that by a third or three and it's 11 or what. I don't know how it usually is, like, for real. But it's out there. And people look at sex as a game and as a challenge and as, as this this, yeah, this accomplishment, this, this thing that you can like show off, you know, how much of a man you are, right? You know, how, how many times you sleep with, you know, random people. And not only is it just shallow and hollow, but it's dangerous. And, you know, I know people that have gotten pretty gross STDs. Like, like, yeah, like stuff that eats your skin away and makes you look like you got a Wookiee growing like <laughs> 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 like, 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 like circulatory system and stuff. It's just it's but I mean, all jokes aside, like like <laughs> diseases are not cool. Like nobody wants. Yeah, nobody wants to get on syphilis. Okay, <laughs> it's bad business. Because those things that you get from those situations, okay, say you go out and you hook up with Kelly. Kelly goes and hooks up with Mark and Dave, Dave and Tom, Tom and Brand, Brand and John, John and Mark and Mark and she got a whole song, you know, of guys. Who got <laughs> and then like one day you're like, you're like, all right, what's up, Kelly? How you doing? And then you guys go look at them again. You just had sex with Mark and Dave. They even talked <laughs> Everything that they've ever done in their life, you're having sex with that. Okay? Think about it like that. It's gross. If you don't have sex with a condom. Come on. Nobody wants that. And nobody wants a baby right now. Who, who, who here is like... Like when you were like 13 years old, 12, 13 years old, you're like, what do I see myself in five years? Oh, I'm knocked up with two kids. <laughs> trailer. Yeah, you know, like living off your grandpa's social security check and, you know, whatever on accident. <laughs> like, you guys don't want that for yourself. Children are beautiful things and they're treasures and they're amazing. I love my son more than I love myself, more than like, I love anybody besides my wife. I love that kid. 
and I couldn't imagine life without him, but if I had him when I was 16 years old, I would not know what to do with myself. I would be that guy who was like, well, guess I'm having a kid, let's go get the room. No, and I would be the worst dad <laughs> I would have been like the worst dad ever. And we're not built to be mentally capable or should be mentally capable of raising children and having a family and being responsible adults at the age you guys are. And as much as you want to be grown up as much as you want to be that guy who's, you know, like got his stuff together and he can provide for whatever, you're not. It's science. Your brain doesn't stop growing until you're like 22 or something like that. And you're learning new things and you have all these things ahead of you. Like who here wants to go travel to Europe when they get out of high school or go, you know, do something awesome with their life? Who, who here has aspirations of doing something greater than what their parents are doing? I don't want to be a priest. You're, you're not going to be a priest. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> not the cards for you. All I'm saying is when you put yourself in a situation where you make dumb choices and you get knocked out, a lot of, if not all of those dreams go away. And now you have another human being depending on you. And it's a huge responsibility. It's a huge time for and as, as, as glamorous and as stupid as it looks, like with like Juno and like pregnant at 16 and you know, all the stupid like shows that they've got going on, like making it seem like, oh, it's okay. It's really not, it's really rough for these girls and it's really rough for the guys too. I mean, there's guys out there that have like dreams going to college, they got scholarships and then they drop everything and they get a night job at Taco Bell, like just kicking and trying to make money for diapers. And that's not what you guys want to do, and that's not what I want for you. So, with that, condoms are awesome. <laughs> <laughs> because, because when you have sex, you have a kid. It's like physics. It happens all the time. <laughs> Biology. <laughs> it's chemicals. You know, it's chemistry. Yeah. Yeah. Starts with chemistry. Starts with chemistry and with biology. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> if you guys are gonna, if you guys are gonna be, if you're gonna put yourself in that situation, if you feel that it's right for you, I'm not gonna be that person who tells you that you're doing something wrong, who tells you that it's not, who <laughs> tells you you need to wait till marriage. You do. I'm not saying you don't, but uh, like. If you're going to make those decisions, please, you guys, be smart. Don't put yourself in the position where you end up dead. Because ultimately, I mean, that's what, that's what can happen. You know, there's, there's a lot of people out there with diseases that they don't even know that they have. And you're like, oh, I like you so much. How many people have you been with? Oh, that's not that many. Have you ever been to? Oh, that's okay. You've never been tested. We'll be saying, I love you. <laughs> <laughs> then you got the flat. Like, the next week. That's what it's to me. Which is not fun. Okay? And, I'm sorry if I'm being a downer. You know? But, I'm, I'm trying to be as, I'm trying to be as truthful as I can. I mean, I, I work in the medical field and I see stuff where people are like, I'm having problems being this is no. And I'm like, Oh, you don't see that. Who are you having? <laughs> it's disgusting. You know, and people just don't even know. They don't even know that they've got it, you know, until it's like this huge inflamed trap of death. Okay? So, does anybody have anything else they'd like to share or anything they'd like to talk about? <laughs>